Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming today. So I guess you guys are excited as I am to share with you uh, my completed uh, travel journal. Now, uh, I did it in two days. The reason why I was able to do that is because it is a small journal and I don't you know, we didn't take as many photos because it was really only a short trip. So it was really only a weekend. So I didn't have a lot to put in here. And, and that's the other reason why I decided to use a small A6 journal. So that I, I didn't have too much to add. Like if I was going for a big holiday, maybe, um, you know, a few weeks I would probably have used maybe like a travel journal, a proper travel journal, and then included all my ephemera in it. So, but this time I decided to go with this. So sit back and enjoy. I, and I'll explain to you a couple of things, uh, what I've put in there. And um, hopefully it will be helpful for you if you are doing a travel journal. So as I explained in the other video, this is a... Um, a notebook which I had, uh, um, I bought this previously because before junk journaling, I used to um, carry a little notebook in my bag and that is actually my diary and I used to even doodle and do bits and pieces in it. But ever since I started junk journaling, uh, I, um, I haven't used this as much. So I do still have them, but I've purchased quite a few and uh, they were in my stash and I so I decided to use this rather than making my own journal so this is uh, from that bee shop I was telling you about so that's the envelope so I bought some seeds to support the bees and here is a flower which I uh, picked from the garden where the Airbnb was and some leaves and I decided to press it and um, add it to my journal and if you're wondering about these um, so if I've used that and and that I've used this this is a new um, I think it's pronounced um, for me I think yes so it has different colors and um, it's like the old Dymo uh, and I love it because it adds really nice texture to it. And I've used, um, as you can see here, so this was the bag in which the journal came in. And I've just used that to just protect my flowers. And this is the accommodation. So on the background, I've used uh, one of the maps that I picked up for free in the information center. I took some photos and this was the Airbnb which we stayed in. And as you can see, the colors are absolutely lovely. And the reason why I've blocked out our faces is my, um, my husband is quite a private person. So just to respect him, I just needed to do that. Um, this was a leaflet that I got from the gallery at uh, so it's the town is called Yakadanda and so it's um it's it had a art gallery there and it was just beautiful and this is the um, pie shop uh, and I just picked up their um, business card to add to it uh, this is the uh, art gallery Aboriginal art gallery and while we were walking there was um, some beautiful art on on a side lane, and um, and it's actually uh, describing the brewing uh, process. I thought it's very interesting, so I took photos of it and decided to put it in here. Uh, more leaves uh, that I pressed. And this was a delicious pie that we had. It was so huge that we had to share it. Um, and again, using photos. So these mini photos are great for uh, a small journal because it obviously fits in there rather than your big uh, um, normal photo size. I love using these because it means that it's cheaper. 
So in one big photo size, there's four photos that you can actually print out in one, uh, one photo shape. So that's amazing. And I just love the colors. Um, so I haven't used a lot of the Daphne Diaries uh, pages because of the size of this journal. So this was a shape that you could cut out. So let me see if I can find it. Okay, they look something like this, where I've used the stickers, so some of them, and I've used, so they have cut out shapes like this. So I've used them. So the one that I used was an autumn themed um, magazine, which is this one here. Can you see it's autumn? It's lots and lots of autumn colors. I mean, how amazing it is for an autumn journal, really. Uh, and so they had these jumpers. It was cold uh, during the night time. So I uh, wanted to remember how cold it was. And these are some of the um, business cards that I've included. Um, and more photos. And I'm just trying also to... Uh, practice my hand lettering which uh, a small journal gives me an opportunity to try in small places and so just doing that and this is another so this uh, flower it's called anemone I think that's how you pronounce it it's a really lovely flower I just love how it's the way it's pressed it's come out really nice and these are uh, some leaves which I collected so um, and I decided to take it apart and you know giving the impression like there's falling leaves from the tree you know during autumn so that's what I've done uh, but isn't that cute that says dog bar and there were three so this is outside a pub and and there were so many dogs um, uh, because there were so many tourists and so they decided to leave the um, uh, water dishes outside and called it a dog's bar. I thought that was cute. And this was, I took a photo of all the magazines that I uh, had purchased and thanking God for his blessing for me. Here, this was from uh, one of the free newsletters or magazine. And that's actually how it looks like. Uh, in bright actually yeah uh, so beautiful and I just like that picture so I decided to keep it and just folding that decided to do like a fold out and on the back that's what it looks like these are stickers from the uh, Daphne Diaries magazine and more um, leaves. This was one of the maps that I got. I just love the fact that it's just nice and bright. And I wanted to go for like a more, um, I don't know, it's a more plain page this time. So I cut out these. And that's my little doggy. Her name is Sophie and she loves her pink bed and she decided to sleep in there. Uh, this was from Daphne Diaries and this is a page because uh, it was black and I wanted to do some doodles all over it. So that's what I did with, so this is from the magazine, uh, the free um, magazine. And again, the jumpers reminding us of how cool it was. This from Daphne Diaries. This was from the magazine. The black paper. I love do doodling on black paper. Oh, excuse me. Um, and this was from Daphne Diaries. And this and this. Uh, this is the photo. And do you like that? We are a Facebook church. We seek God's face and read God's book. I had to take a photo of that. That's so funny. But so clever. More uh, of that map. And, and this was uh, one of the uh, flowers. I think it was from an oak tree. I love how red it is. It's so beautiful. 
and more of the leaves this map is such a, a good map I love it and more leaves see the colors are all different and that's why I decided to add them in my journal this is a bookmark that I found at the post office and it was so cute it was a dollar I had to get it it's a very interesting shape and just the flowers look absolutely stunning that's pies we definitely had lots and lots of pies from those little bakeries and they were amazing um, this is Mount Buffalo I, um, so we went up there just to have a look there's no snow normally there is snow during the winter time it was beautiful and that was the little cottage up there in Mount Buffalo and this was from the bookshop it was their catalog and I decided I like the uh, look of it so it went in here and this is sorry this is the back of it and I decided to just put some uh, verses and just reminders of what I read over the weekend in, on sticky notes those ones and this was from that art gallery which was lovely and that's from the information center and these are seeds for the bees and I also kept the um, uh, receipt so and look I'm gonna plant the seeds because the seeds that came in this packet is the anemone I wonder if it's going to be the purple one like this anyway when I plant them and they grow I'll, I'll actually do a video of it when I'm done so you may be asking then what is going to happen with all my Daphne diaries and some of these magazines that I have purchased and um, what I'm going to do if you have not seen my journal which I did a while ago so using exercise books uh, I am in the process of finishing them so there's more pages here which I will use my magazines to complete them so don't forget to subscribe and just check out my playlist if you want to see the first part of how I've decorated this I am going to finish them with the rest of the ephemera that I have purchased see you in my next video and take care bye